Hi everybody and welcome back. My name's Alison, the online piano and the online violin tutor. Today I'm going to talk about when is the right time that you should start vibrato. So I'm basically just going to go over a kind of a little checklist um, for you guys that are kind of self teaching and self learning at home as to when you should start vibrato. I think um, a lot of folks are always in a hurry to do vibrato and you know that that's great I get that vibrato does make the violin sound a lot nicer it is very nice to do it changes the, the tone of the violin it takes it from sort of um, kind of beginner sounding to a lot more advanced sounding um, and all those kinds of things that kind of come with vibrato so I totally get why you guys want to do vibrato but equally underneath my vibrato video that I've done I'll put a link to that in the description bar underneath this video if you want to do that I'm not going to go into how to do vibrato in this video I have a separate video for that which the same one will be linked underneath so but today I'm just going to talk about when is the right time so Underneath my vibrato video, I'm getting a lot of a lot of folks saying things like, you know, they're they're having trouble with it, um, the violin shaking and and all this kind of stuff, um, and the reason why a lot of that is happening is just simply because that you're starting vibrato too soon. So my reply to that would normally be to make sure that you've got the basics down first before you do vibrato, and by basics, this is what I mean. So. If you answer yes to all of these points, then I would say you can start vibrato. If not, you need to give yourself a little bit more time to do vibrato. If you don't, number one, you'll find vibrato very difficult to do, and number two, vibrato, trying to do vibrato as well as trying to get better at all the basics will hinder you learning the basics, in which case, you know, you'll end up picking up a lot of bad habits later down the line. Have you learnt all the notes in first position? So first position is just this position, so probably the main position that, that you'll know. So it's otherwise known as third as first position, sorry. So what you need to know is the open G string, first finger on G is A, second finger on G is either uh, B flat or B, a normal B, third finger is C, then you've got the open D, first finger is A, second fing first finger is E, sorry. Then you've got the open D string, first finger is E, second finger close to E is F natural, second finger stretched is F sharp, third finger is G, and so on until you get to the fourth finger on the E string. So it's important that you do know all the notes on, on in first position here. The second point is, is your violin free of tape or dots? So in other words, these little dots that I've got on here. I don't normally have these dots on here, as you know. I always have them here because I'm always making videos. So I always just kind of, I always put them on at the start of when I'm making a whole bulk of videos and obviously I take them off. But for now, for the, for the video purposes, I do have dots on here. So what you need to do is make sure those dots are off so that you're playing without any dots or tape or any of those don't fret stickers. That's important as well because again that's that's part of the basics and that's the, they're the things that you need to be knowing before you start doing vibrato. This is all in the basics that I was talking about. Okay, the third thing, does your left hand sit in the correct place? So the left hand that sits on the violin, so what I mean by that is does it sit in the correct place? So what we don't want is the wrist coming up here like this. So if you're playing with the wrist up like here, then your fingers aren't going to be in the right position and there's there's no way that you're going to do vibrato because you just can't move your wrist anywhere, your thumb's too high up, everything's kind of all bunched up. So what you need to make sure is that your wrist is down. So you've got, it's kind of like your, the, from the fingers that curve over all the way down is kind of almost a, almost a straight line. It's not gonna be exactly a straight line and that will depend from person to person, but generally you want it to be a nice straight line that you can see here. So in other words, you'll be able to do vibrato nice and easily because you'll be able to use the thumb. However you do vibrato, finger vibrato, wrist vibrato, arm vibrato, whichever one you do, you want to be able to make sure that your fingers and, and, and your hand and everything is in the right position. Up like this, no good. The fourth point, do you play with the pads of your finger? So in other words, what I mean by that is that you're playing with the very tip of your fingertip on the string of the violin. So some of you, depending on your nails as well, that the, the um, I mean, you can see I have very, very short nails here. I always cut my nails down until as basically as low as they'll, as low as they'll go for me so that I can play with the very fingertip. So in other words, if my nails were 
I don't know, a, a quarter of a millimetre or whatever it is longer, I would not be able to play with the very, very tips of my finger. So I'm not sure if that's coming out on, on camera, but as you can see now, I'm playing with the very tip of my finger. I'm not playing bent round. I'm not going to be able to do that because of my nails. And you can also see this point here is here is bent because I'm playing with the very, very tip of my finger. If I'm sort of playing further towards the pad, then you can see it's bending here. So we don't want that. What we want is that nice kind of curve that you have with the fingers. If your fingers are, are flat, maybe because your nails are in the way and you've got that bend there, again, no good for doing the vibrato. And the fifth and final tip is, do you have good intonation? And what I mean by that is, do your fingers go in the correct place? So intonation is, correct intonation is like getting the correct pitch on the violin. So that kind of goes hand in hand with number two, whether you have tape, dots or whatever, don't fret stickers, etc., on your violin. So you wanna make sure that your fingers are going in the right place. Intonation is very, very important. It's possibly the number one most important thing on the violin, because if, you, if your intonation's all off, then the violin sounds hideous, regardless of what everything else is doing in the bow, but... <laughs> demonstration of very very poor intonation so what you want to do is just make sure that you have good intonation so you're not thinking about where your fingers are going you can just concentrate on vibrato so there we go so those are probably the five basics that you need to have down before you even attempt to do vibrato if you don't have these basics down then you need to spend more time working on them or honestly i mean it's really really going to hinder your learning it, you'd be better off spending a little bit more time trying to get these five basics down before you went and did vibrato. Even though vibrato is gonna give you a nice tone, the basics normally take mm, around about a year to do. So, I mean, at the end of the day, anything that you're doing at, at the basic level, you don't really need vibrato for anyway, so you're not completely missing out. So, folks, don't be in a hurry to do vibrato. You will get there, but make sure you get those five basics first and make sure you've got all of those, and then you can have a go at doing vibrato, and then you will find that everything will just click into place and everything will come together and everything should sound really Really nice so there we go um, five things that you need to have down before you do vibrato so thank you for watching um, please subscribe to my channel watch my other videos and all that kind of good stuff and I'll see you in the next video